Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we're going to continue working on part 10 of this school building. Let's get started. So in the previous video, we were able to add skyline and we finished working on the canopy and other stuff. Um, we also created this. So we're going to continue working on this. As you know, we already grouped this, but I don't think we were able to group everything. So I'm, I'm going to ungroup this again. And I want to make sure that I selected everything. So I'm going to select this curtain wall, this one as well, and then this curtain wall. In terms of the other stuff, like the grid stuff, or the mullions, maybe I could just do this and let's see if we can group, group them all together. So now that I group them, let's see. So I'm going to go to the second floor and then I'm going to click copy multiple. I'm going to use this endpoint and snap it in place like that. I want to look at it here and then let's see if I cut geometry. So as you can see, I cut geometry and I was able to cut and then make sure that you are selecting the curtain wall like that. The good thing about this is it's it's easy to edit. So I'm going to edit the group. I'm going to pull this up like that. And then I'm going to click finish and it will have everything done or all the groups that I copied with will be fixed as well. So I like that idea. It's going to make my life easy. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to second floor and I'm going to select this again. I want to make sure that I selected model group number two. So I'm going to do it again. Copy multiple is checked. I'm going to use this uh, endpoint and then Keep on doing this. Uh, for this science lab, I'm going to put it here. And then I'm going to go back, select the model group, copy, and then I'm going to use this midpoint or this endpoint. So that's done. Um, I would need to go on the other side. So now I'm going to select this or I'm going to select group two and then click, click copy multiple. I want to make sure that I'm going to copy it in the midpoint and then I will need to turn it around. I'm just looking for the midpoint for this wall. So I'm just going to put it here and I want to turn it around. So rotate this, then 90, or sorry, it should be 180. And then now we just need to move this to the wall like this. I want to make sure that it, this is at least in the midpoint. And then I want to make sure that everything is showing. Oh, 
Okay. So now here, I just want to cut the geometry. So wall first, and then the curtain wall. So you just need to be patient and make sure that this appears. Sometimes it's hard. There. But compared to doing it individually, this is a lot better. And then let's do it on this side as well. And then we just need to finish up. So copy this again multiple times. And then for this side, you can see that this is not in the middle. So you could just move it in place. And we want to make sure that we copy it for this side as well. So now I'm going to click this again and then click copy and get it from that endpoint. And then here we just need to move the group. Just going to copy this and then manually add it like that. And I want to make sure that everything is roughly in the middle. So this one's good. And let's do it on the other side as well. So the last one, we, we cannot add it like that. So for this one, maybe we could change it. So I'm going to copy this. Move it roughly like that. And we're going to change this, this one, ungroup it, and then move it some, somewhere. So we're going to fix that later on. And here, we need to copy again for this area. So here I'm going to copy and then rotate. And then let's move it using our arrow key on our keyboard. That's fine enough. And just nudge it in place like that. And then copy again. And then roughly in the middle. It looks like too much work, but it's actually easier than doing all the work. 
this one is the one that we need to ungroup. So I'm going to ungroup everything. So I'll, I'll do that last. And then now the only thing we need to do is cut geometry. Okay, so now only that one we need to finish, but we can do that later on. We could now do the one at, uh, below, the one in ground floor. So we could do that next. So let's do the one below. I'm going to click on ground floor. And then we have one right here. We don't need to put anything right here. Um, I don't want to put any windows right here. And then we have this part and this area. So we're going to do it here first. So it will be a curtain wall. And then we're going to click modify and then cut geometry. And then go back to our 3D view. And I wanted to pull it up like that. So I'm just pulling up like that. So mostly it's this height. And then here we could just add in. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add in a cur curtain grid and then segment it like that and then 500 and then maybe 500 at the top. And then after that, I'm going to divide it. And then add millions. And then I'm going to 
copy all of this like so so once I copy this I'm gonna group this so if this is grayed out so maybe I group something that it's not able to group so I'm gonna do it again and then now this is groupable so let's see this is gonna be group 3 and then now let's try and copy this and then I'm gonna go and modify wall and then this and then let's see so everything is grouped properly so I'm gonna do that so I'm just gonna make it easy for me So that's done. You can have it on the other side as well. I'm going to add, add this here, but I'm going to rotate this 180. And I'm just going to base it on the middle. So this one would be good. forgot the dimension of this so it's basically middle and then from here I'm just gonna copy it again and then I'm gonna move this one at least in the center and then now Let's cut geometry. So the reason that we're cutting geometry on the 3D earlier because we have multiple multiple curtain wall. So that's why. But as you can see, it's easier to do it like that. And then I'm going to copy this one. for this and this one as well and then move it in the middle and then cut geometry so that's done the only thing that we need to worry about is this one which I'm gonna ungroup so now we could just move this one like that it will need to be removed so delete element I'm gonna check it now it's right here so this one will need to be added edit extrusion so this one is different so I'm going to trim this one up to here Think that's good enough okay and then click finish and then finish now let's see okay so this one 
edit profile i want to move it all the way here remove constraint and then click finish delete element and then cut geometry so the wall we need to and then one more so that's good enough and you could just extend this one comparing it to here okay so that's something that is fast we did it fast so that's good enough So this is good enough. Um, we're going to continue working on it on the next video. Thank you for watching and I hope you liked the video. Please hit like and subscribe. Feel free to comment down below.